Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to use the variables in script task in SSIS package. So what we will learn, we will learn how to create SSIS package. Then we will learn how to create the variables in SSIS package. And then we are going to use those variables in script task when we will select a scripting language as C Sharp or VB.NET. And finally, we will learn how to set the value of a variable from the script task or from inside the script task. So let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools or the bids, whatever you are using. Uh, if you are using SSIS 2005 or 2008, you will be using bids. If you are using SSIS 2012 or 14, you will be opening SSDT. Now, once you are in the project, you right click here, create a new SSIS package. And here, I'm going to create uh, two variables. Uh, first of all, those uh, well, let me create one variable. You can uh, have multiple ways uh, to create a variable or initiate uh, the variable create window. One uh, one thing here we have at the corner. Uh, that's where you can start, and it will bring this window to you. But this is only in uh, SSIS 2012 and 14. In the uh, old version, you don't have this uh, tab here, and uh, you can. Uh, be in the control flow and cl right click and say variables that's one way and uh, other ways uh, go to SSIS and from here you can initiate that uh, variable window now once you are in that uh, variable window here you can create uh, those variables uh, I'm going to create uh, a variable called source folder and then this is going to be string and I'm going to provide any value. Let's provide this value. Go to input, input folder. And here we provide that value. Next, uh, what I want to do, I want to create a variable called file name. And this is going to be string as well. You can select the data type, whatever you like here. We have a string, integer, single, um, we have a uh, boolean uh, all different type of uh, data types are here so you can select any anything what you like or uh, you required according to your requirement so in my case I'm gonna be st uh, using a string and here I will say sales underscore 2015 05 15 or 16 so that's my file name next variable what I want to do I want to create this variable I will call this one uh, uh, file full path and I want to set uh, the value of this variable by using uh, these two variable but I will be calling or setting the value of this variable in this script task so let's go back here and bring the script task now first of all when you open this one you have to select uh, the language here we are selecting C sharp and you have the option to select the visual basic first go with C, C, C sharp and then we will go with the visual basic and here you will be saying read only variables so you can select the variables from which you want to read so I want to read from file name and I want to read from source folder and then next one I have file full path so hit OK and here in the read write variable if we want to set the value of a variable from the script task you can select that variable here in this case I'm going to say file full path hit OK now click on edit script and once uh, you are in the script uh, task uh, editor here you will be going to the main uh, and then uh, using those uh, variables uh, first uh, sometime we have to declare the uh, local variables and set the values and use inside the scripting so I'm going to do that first uh, for you string uh, let's say we call it a uh, file name and uh, that's uh, one variable we can call string and uh, folder path that's another one and now we can set the value to this variable so we can say file name is equal to so we have to start with dts sorry dts dot variables and then we have to use the parentheses those are square brackets 
and you will say double quotes user then provide the variable name file name double quotes and close the square parenthesis and dot value dot to string so that's how you will be setting the value of a local variable that you have here let me remove this part so that's how you will be setting a creating a local variable and then setting the value of this variable by using the SSIS variable that we have created in the package next uh, we will be doing uh, we will set the value of folder path variable by using uh, the SSIS variable folder path paste it here and now we can change this one to the folder path variable that we have created uh, in the SSIS N one uh, thing if you remember we have created a file full path variable and now we want to set the value of that uh, variable from the script task so we will be send dts uh, dot variables uh, and uh, here we will say we can copy actually uh, the entire thing or we can write by ourselves uh, user file full path and then we say parenthesis dot value is equal to now here you can use these variables or anything you like you can add to it you can maybe put the hard code values whatever you like and sometime in the script you get some values from some files or folders and then you want to concatenate and use that you can use it and here I can say plus I can say I have set value so I just added some hard code values to it as well. Now, if I will go back here and print out uh, one thing I can print it here to show you that, that the value of this variable is set or I can go in next uh, skip task and print out the value. So if even we will print out here, we can print out the value of this one and this tells us, okay, the value is set correctly or not. So we'll say message box dot show and then we will put just a value dot to string and just we are popping up a, a message box so what we did here we declared the single variables and we were able to set the value of these uh, local variables in, uh, in a script task by using the SSIS variables and also we returned the uh, values to the file full path by using some hard code values and local variables of a script task so you can set the values or get the values from there there and that's how you will be using these variables inside so now let's save it build it and then we go ahead and we are gonna execute this one it is showing us the error and I can tell you right away some uh, pa pa variable name is not correct so we have file full path file name source folder so I can tell I have put source uh, folder or path or something let me go back and take a look source folder is correct here these are case sensitive so make sure you put the right names for these variables so here if you see I have used the folder path and it should be source folder instead of um, folder, uh, folder path so that was wrong and that was the reason it uh, threw us error now we go back let's run it and we can see that uh, this value is uh, printed uh, from that uh, uh, variable we have set the value of the variable and then that's why it is uh, printed so if we stop the package now and uh, we can go ahead if we just want to confirm it if the value is set correctly we can go ahead here and just print out in the next one and that will tell us okay the value came or is still set to that variable so we can use the file full path hit okay here I, I just keep um, insisting on testing a lot because uh, I know sometimes you know, we do um, you know take some time to do it but that made sure that really our um, things are working you know so we say user 
and we say file full path double quotes dot value sorry here we have to say actually d dts dot variables then you have to pa square parentheses user file full path double quotes parentheses close value dot to string so now and uh, on top of that I want to add the this part I'm saying I am in second script task so that will tell us the difference between the first one and the second one which one we are printing from the first one and which were we are printing for the second one so hit ok close it it is saying some errors are there because we did not probably put the terminator at the end of the line so we have to do that sometimes it's easy to miss that see here so we have to do that save it hit ok <laughs> still packages okay can't compile uh, no I don't want to continue I go want to go back and take a look so what is the issue so it is in uh, parenthesis so one parenthesis is missing here so that's now it is uh, looking correct or no let's see this is a passive bug that show variables that value that's to string plus this sign what happened let me cut this out and see what exactly is happening so that's fine and if we need to add it we can go ahead and add it why not sorry I just want to add and concatenate this is my second script task okay it looks good no it does not uh, let me do it saying okay call arguments uh-huh because we are starting here and this is the closing part we should be closing here if we want to add the value we should be closing it here after the complete string for the message box so that was the error now we build it these small things happen so when you are doing demos it's kind of difficult to okay so this is first uh, we I have set the value this is coming from the first the second one you can see that so this has the, the our uh, source folder file name plus we have put this uh, this is my second script task so the value is a set by using the first first script task and we are printing in the second now let me just disable this part both of them and now we will be using the same script task but here we will be using vb.net so go select the vb.net here you come back and select those variables and we are having source folder we are having a file name and then we will build the full file name by here full file name so we have source folder not folder path okay and in the vb.net uh, there is a little different way to use those variables uh, and I'm gonna show you right away so here when you write them let's uh, say dim uh, and the uh, file name as string that's how you will declare a variable in the uh, vb.net uh, folder source folder as string and these are the local variables we are creating in the in vb.net um, script uh, in the script task and now we are setting by using the values from the um, SSIS variable so I will say file name that's a local variable and I want to set uh, from DTS dot variables so here we will not use uh, those uh, square brackets anymore we will use just a small parenthesis user and say file name and then close the small parenthesis to string and that's it that's all we have to do and then uh, we want to set source folder and that's equal to DTS dot variables and small parenthesis user 
everything has to be case sensitive so and then you put double quote dot value dot to string so we have set uh, the value of these uh, local variables uh, by using the dts dot variables that's ssis variables we have created in ssis package now next uh, what we want to do we want to set uh, the value of a variable from these local variables so we will say dot variables and here we'll say user file full path dot value equal to and we'll say source folder and we can give some space if you want but here we and we we'll say file name and uh, that's uh, all we have so it's all set we can print the same way we can have pop-up message box that show and now we will be using a dts dot variables and here we have to say user file full path Th this time i'm not going to go to another script and uh, show you because i know it's working fine and uh, we shouldn't be spending a lot of time on this one just to make sure oh it is working or not uh, we are set we are setting the values of local variables in script as by using the ssis variables and that's how you do that and no square parentheses you will be using small parentheses here and inside you will be saying dts dot variable and provide the variable name dot value equal to whatever you want to set so this one is our read and write variable if you remember we have declared in the read and write when we open the script task so we are all good now save it close it and save it run it now and uh, it is uh, showing us the values uh, of uh, the read and write uh, variable that we have set uh, in the script task so that's how you will be using uh, these variables i have a lot of examples uh, and especially i made uh, videos on the ftp task uh, and i have used variables parameter how to use them how to loop uh, how to use those as a directory name folder name uh, or um, expressions and everything so you can go ahead and uh, watch those videos and uh, learn the real use of these uh, uh, variables and parameters uh, using in a script task so thanks very much for watching this video apologize for making the videos long it is always small things i would like to say and uh, explain a little more so see you next video bye